Yo, 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 before you watch this video, uh, like it, obviously, comment, share, subscribe, and do one thing for me, right? Z2 Fantasy on Twitter, at Z2 Fantasy, I'll put a, something up right here, probably something down in the description as well. He made that, uh, that thumbnail picture, beautiful, to work of art. Uh, hit him up if you need any graphical design things, pictures, especially of players. He's got an abundance of them, uh, they're all pretty great as well, so uh, do that for me. Uh, enjoy the video. Yo, we live? <laughs> Not live. Yo, yo, yo. How you living? How you feeling? How you doing? This is First Choice Fantasy. My name's Ed. Coming back to y'all with an uh, individual video this time around. Uh, usually, I'm with my co-hosts Alex and Brandon, but today I decided to make my own video. Uh, just got back from the gym. It is 12.56 a.m. So, uh, not middle of the afternoon, middle of the night, middle of the morning. Oh, fuck no. I'm just going to jump into it. Uh, you should be buying LaVisca Chanel Dynasty Fantasy Football. Boom. This episode or this this uh, this video is not very scripted. Okay, so just hear me out. Gotta have a few rough points. I this is my first individual video, obviously, and uh, the camera actually looks a little slanted. Might just be me. Oh well, but uh, yeah. So I guess let's get into this. Lavisca Chanel, Jacksonville Jaguars wide receiver two, technically wide receiver one in my eyes. Okay, this man's comp. Okay. I'm going to be regurgitating things that you guys probably already know, probably already heard. But, Levisica Chanel, on playerprofiler.com, number one comp. Give me five seconds, guess who it is. <laughs> no, you're wrong. You're probably, you're probably wrong. But, uh, best comparable to A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown. You heard that right. All right. Um, situationally, not the same thing. Okay, so that's one thing. There's a lot more positives for LaVisca Chenault's situation. Trevor Lawrence is going to be the quarterback there, obviously. We know that. LaVisca Chenault has better target quality, which comes with the nature of having a better quarterback. Now, Trevor Lawrence is not going to set the NFL on fire his rookie year, but LaVisca Chenault should probably play more in the slot this year and be used more as a playmaker than he previously was, right? LaVisca Chenault is a playmaker. If you watch him in college, just pure athlete, uh, yeah, the, the tape speaks for itself, obviously. He's going to play more in the slot, right? Now, to me, I'm a big slot sleuth. <laughs> Last offseason, right, I was a big fan of Amari Cooper. He was actually my first choice flagpole, if you remember that. You probably don't because the video got like 20 views. But anyway, he's my first, my first choice flagpole, Amari Cooper, that was last year. The reason being, C.D. Lamb was coming to the picture. And I assume C.D. Lamb will be playing more on the outside, which made Amari Cooper's insider slot percentage go up. And uh, slot receivers get targets and the ability to make more yards from those targets if they're good with it. Thought Amari Cooper was good with that. His slot percentage, I believe, went up from uh, 10% in 2019 to 21% last year. So 11% gain. But obviously, you guys know as well as I do, uh, Ben DiNucci was a quarterback, as well as Andy Dalton at times, whenever he wasn't concussed. Um, and Garrett Gilbert. Speaks for itself, okay? Uh, <laughs> Amari Cooper in 2019 had a 7.2 target quality rating, according to Player Profiler, which was 10th in the NFL of all wide receivers. All wide receivers, okay? Switch over to 2020. His target quality was 5.4, which was 65th of all wide receivers. Quarterback situation was piss poor. We both know that, okay? Same thing for LaVisca Chanel last year. Quarterback performance was piss poor, right? His target quality rating this past year was 5.0, which was less than Amari Cooper, and it was 83rd in the NFL. Now let's go into the expected points from Amari Cooper and LaVisca Chanel last year, right? LaVisca Chanel was third on his team in expected points per Rotoviz. Uh, don't know their whole formula and whatever they do over there to find this out, but 130, they expected 130 receiving points, receiving fantasy points 
for LaVisca Chenault. He outperformed that by 18 fantasy points, which was the largest outperformance of fantasy points on the receiving aspect on the entire team. So he was more efficient than his other counterparts there. Keelan Cole, Chris Conley, DJ Chark, obviously. Um, but Keelan Cole's out of the picture. Chris Conley's out of the picture, right? They're both outside guys. Or, well, Keelan Cole's a uh, slot guy. Chris Conley's an outside guy. Uh, but with Keelan Cole gone and Marvin Jones in the picture now, right? Marvin Jones probably going to play a little bit more outside than uh, inside. This is obvious. He's an outside receiver. Uh, Keelan Cole's slot percentage is probably going to shift towards LaVisca Chenault's way, right? So you see the stars line, right? LaVisca Chenault in the slot, seeing more opportunities, seeing better opportunities with Trevor Lawrence. Uh, the only downfall, I guess you could say, is the fact that the team pass plays per game last year for the Jags was sixth in the NFL. Probably not going to be sixth this year. I would not imagine it being sixth. So opportunities wise, not going to have as many, but the wide receiver position is not like the running back position, right? Having an abundance of targets is nice and whatnot, but if you can't do anything with them, if the targets are crap, like they were last year for both Amari Cooper and LaVisca Chenault, um, it doesn't really matter. It's about being efficient, like LaVisca Chenault's best comparable player, A.J. Brown. I was going to bring in more statistics and you know, blah, 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 to bring in, I guess, talk about slot receivers or like players with quality, uh, target quality, and higher slot percentages, finishing higher, but I didn't want to do that, and I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure you guys understand that because it's kind of, I don't know, numbers are very subjective. If I really want to, I could do it, but I think you get my point, and if you don't agree, well, then you don't agree, and even numbers probably wouldn't prove you, uh, prove me right. <coughs> For... <coughs> Now, back to comparing Amari Cooper and LaVisca Chenault. It's not really a comparison, per se. I guess you guys should understand that. It's more so just, like, me talking about the fact that I was high on Amari Cooper last offseason because he was going to be playing more in the slot. Situation turned out poop, but he still performed relatively good. His expected points were 30 points more than he had the previous season. Um, and the reason why this previous season he had more fantasy points or fantasy points... Uh, per game, both of them, was because he was more efficient, point blank period. Like I said, his uh, efficiency kind of relied on Dak Prescott being there. Uh, if he had Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott his whole year, would have snapped, no doubt in my mind. Uh, but yeah, LaVisca Chenault should have more expected points, a lot more than he did last year, because last year he had 130, yeah, 130. Definitely see a climb in maybe 160-ish, 180-ish. I can see 180-ish. His ceiling is... <clears throat> It's up there for sure, but uh, I do want to say the Visca Chenault is probably one of my my guys for this year, right? Dynasty for sure, my guy. Uh, I'm putting this video out now mainly because I've been trying to acquire him for these reasons, and uh, nobody wants to sell him to me because I guess they understand, and I hope you understand now too. Anyways, that's first choice fantasy signing out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Our website is coming here shortly, uh, May 7th, May 4th, one of those two days. Brandon worked his fucking ass off for that shit, so please, please check it out. Give it a share uh, once it comes out, obviously. Follow us on socials. They'll be down in the description. Um, yeah, without further ado, deuces.